This project was created by students of the Pennsylvania State University as an informative presentation about photo imaging, a computer application for landscape contractors as part of Michael Money's Hort 120 class. New technology has been developed over the past two decades to assist landscape professionals with everyday business functions. Photo imaging is one such technology. Developed in the 1990s, photo imagery has grown in popularity and has been implemented more and more over the years as a visual tool to assist business functions within the industry. So what is photo imaging? How does it relate to the landscape industry? What are its benefits? What are its downsides? And what programs are available for use today? We've created this brief synopsis all about what photo imaging is, how it works, and how it continues to benefit the landscape industry. Photo imaging is the alteration of a real life digital photograph using computer software to produce a simulated design concept for clients. The program operator can virtually install plants, hardscapes, and turf areas, as well as other outdoor features to simulate what a design will look like after a project is complete. This technology allows a person less familiar with landscaping concepts to have a better understanding of a potential project through visual aids. The clients of today's landscaping industry may not be able to understand a landscape design on paper because in a person's mind it is hard to translate two-dimensional plans into three dimensions. Photo imagery is a great tool to allow potential clients to more personally view what their property may look like at the end of a design build project. Oftentimes the client is able to have several different versions of the same project design at their disposal. This makes comparison easy and options broader, creating a more interactive approach to landscape design by presenting many available possibilities at one time. Photo imagery is a clear-cut way of breaking down barriers between trained landscape designers and clients. It's a practical technique for educating a customer while selling a design in a professional and creative fashion. Whether it's photo imaging or some other form of presentation, this type of technology has become very useful in the landscaping industry. Years ago, perspectives and 2D plan views were the norm amongst landscape designers. As we've moved further into the technological age, newly developed digitized programs have supplemented these originally implemented design processes, making it easier to communicate and sell to the customer. This awareness of engaging the client in order to give them a better understanding of what is to be accomplished has been recognized. It is for this reason that such technologies, especially photo imaging, has become very important and useful amongst modern landscaping firms. Photo imagery is a fairly simple concept. One or more digital photographs of a design area are taken and uploaded into a photo imaging program. The designer can then use those photos to enhance them with new landscaping features digitally. As a result, the client is able to sit down and see exactly what is going to change on their property and how. More diligence can be taken in a project's pre-planning stages, allowing for more efficient, more personalized construction. In turn, client dissatisfaction after the design is installed can be eliminated almost altogether. Photo imagery is great for confirming exactly what the client wants and what they are going to get. While photo imagery can be rather useful, the technology is not flawless. Reputable programs can be fairly expensive, sometimes in excess of $1,400. Amateur users may have difficulty using the program if not properly trained. While fairly simple, the programs do require some know-how in order to successfully execute designs. Digitalized plants used in the program may lose perspective in certain scenarios. For example, a tree in the program of a certain age and size may not be the exact age or size of a tree to be installed. And plants in bloom within the program may not be in bloom during the installation. If these issues are not addressed, the customer may think one thing and receive another. Choosing a program can be problematic in itself. When selecting a program, several things need to be considered. How difficult is the program to learn? What are the complexities of the program? How much time can you afford to spend learning the program? How expensive is the program? 
and will it save money in the long run? There isn't just one factor to consider when deciding which program to use, and this may present a challenge when picking one to purchase and to implement. There are numerous programs available on the market for photo imaging. Pro Landscape, Coral Earthscapes, Real-Time Landscape Architect, Visual Impact Imaging Earthscapes, Magic Landscape Filter, Designware, the list is very long. All of these programs provide photo imaging capabilities in basically the same manner but with varying interfaces. In today's landscaping industry, as well as in many other modern industries, the idea of mobility is becoming more and more important. Several applications for handheld devices are available for purchase for photo imaging use. iScape, Garden and Landscape Design, and Eden are all applications that can be used out in the field using mobile devices for photo imaging purposes. With such technology now available, the way photo imaging is done in today's industry has been revolutionized. Photo imaging has become an integral part of the modern landscaping industry. The technology has enhanced how firms of all sizes have been able to present and sell to their clients, creating a more personalized, interactive approach to customer relations. Although there are a few negative elements associated with photo imaging, the positive impacts that the programming has offered to the profession have strongly outweighed the bad. Photo imaging, along with other technologies, is sure to be implemented more and more as the landscape profession grows in innovation.